Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, I am going to talk about MLKit Translate, uh, which is again another uh, module included with the MLKit package. Uh, before we start, if you haven't seen my first video uh, about MLKit, please do check that out because I will be using the same project for this. So I will be extending the project uh, to make the project use the MLKit uh, translate uh, module. Uh, I will be posting the link in the description. Please go ahead and check that out. And all the old uh, packages has been updated to the newer versions. Uh, so it should be compatible right now. Yeah. So let's uh, start. So MLKit has lots of uh, features like we have in my first video we have seen uh, recognized text detect faces uh, scan barcode label images etc uh, it works both on using the cloud um, data model as well as the on device uh, data model we are interested in the on device because uh, we expect things to work on offline mode also that is the uh, greatest thing with MLKit, uh, you can have lots of features downloaded as model for offline usage, and of course, like uh, it comes for a for a price. Like the more sometimes the model can be very huge, so you should decide on what to store in your app and what not to. Uh, same as the case for the natural language, there are, there are a few pieces available here. Identify the language, translate etc generate smart replies uh, here i am focusing on the translate uh, in the translate also we have uh, two types of model uh, the on device uh, model as well as the cloud model uh, like using the on device model you don't need an internet connection for the translation uh, really cool right uh, you can download the model and you can easily uh, translate your uh, text uh, which is really good now, uh, before starting, uh, let's uh, go through uh, some steps here. Like, if you haven't, uh, if you are starting from scratch, uh, you should look at how to uh, create a Fire Firebase project uh, for and configure it for Android. Uh, you can click and go to this link, which has a detailed uh, steps on what to do: creating a project in Firebase console, uh, downloading the uh, json for google services because without this json file uh, your app uh, you, the features with respect to firebase will not work and in my source code there is no uh, json uh, google J services json uh, because it's tied to my account uh, so if you want you can you need to follow this process to create a new one and attach it to your project all these steps are being defined here so make sure if you are starting from scratch you go through this uh, document yeah and let's start so as always i have uh, coded it already and we'll go through uh, the things that i have done step one uh, let's go to the settings so in the settings i have added two packages over here uh, dependencies like the firebase ml natural language 19.0.1 and the translate model again 19.0.1 that's it that that's the only thing required for uh, this purpose if you are following uh, my old tutorial and the project because other things are already being configured so what you need to do is just to include uh, these two uh, packages to it now let's look at the layout so i created a, a new layout which looked like this uh, you have a place to enter the text to translate uh, which i which i called as a source language and a text view where in which uh, the translated text will be displayed and uh, there are two options over here uh, to choose the language 
uh, which is which which is a user choice uh, here i i could have used a spinner but i for ease of the uh, video i just hacked the number uh, picker uh, to use uh, so i just use the number picker to display the languages i will show you in the code how it is being done so these are just uh, buttons no, nothing will happen and uh, these are the number pickers where in which you select the uh, source language and the destination language and uh, mlkit has another feature to automatically detect the uh, language once you provide it uh, i'm not using it maybe you can explore uh, it so here uh, i give the pro choice to the user so he can select the source and uh, the destination to be translated and what else uh, yeah and when you once you click the translate button uh, it will start doing the translation process and once the translation is completed uh, the translated text will be displayed over here and dismiss will go back to the uh, main page that's pretty much it, it on the layout okay now let's look at the translate activity I will go through some of the core methods uh, in this activity which does the translation. Okay, so first of all, uh, we need a Firebase uh, translator to do the translation. So I have a method written here prepare a translator, and the translator needs a source language and a destination language. So I am passing the source and destination language to the uh, this method and there is a builder uh, function which will build a uh, translate translation options and then we will create a translator once a translator is cre created uh, we should look uh, whether the model is already being downloaded or not if the model is not downloaded uh, we we call this method download model if needed so if if only if it is needed uh, the model will be downloaded else it won't be downloaded and it is advised to not to download lot of uh, language models maybe we we can keep some buffer or something and if that buffer exceeds then delete some uh, older models or something like that here uh, i have just three languages so it won't be any problem so i'm just downloading all and keeping it so whenever you use the language model for the first time it will download and keep it and in the later usages it will use the uh, downloaded data model and once the data model is uh, downloaded uh, the language model is downloaded we uh, do the actual translation so let's go and see what is there in translate now so we we are keeping a reference to the translator and then we are calling the translate method and the source field whatever you have entered in the text that we have seen in the layout we pass it to the translate method which is uh, which should be a string and once the translation is successful we just set the translated text to the uh, the text view that we have seen and if in case of any error we just uh, show the uh, dialog. I have just written a small method to show a dialog which builds an alert dialog and shows what our text that you have we are passing in. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. What the translate does, you need to create a translator first, you need to uh, download the data model. Once the data model is downloaded, you just call the translate method on the translator that's it so it's very easy now why why do we have lot lot of methods over here you might be asking so you know this the dismiss is to just dismiss the screen then this is the function which handles the translate button so whenever uh, you click the translate we will be checking whether the uh, source text field is blank we don't need to translate a blank text uh, if it is blank, we'll just show an alert. Now, if the source language and target language is not selected, 
we will be showing a pop-up to select those then we will be showing a progress bar just in case like if the download takes longer time and then we prepare the translator with the source and target language and store it to a uh, variable for future reference then this is the number picker I was talking about so I am setting a uh, picker with these many values and array of text so I am setting the minimum value 0 and I am setting the display values of the picker as these values so though it underneath it is a uh, number picker we can display the uh, text and on value change listener I am uh, getting the new selected value which will be the uh, value from the array and I have written a convenience method like if English is selected by the user you return the uh, translate language value en if German de fr for French and sv for Swedish and if there is any unknown value comes in we return minus one so that uh, user will be prompted again to select a proper language so once you get the language value uh, created from it it gets assigned to the uh, variable which will be used by the prepare translator uh, function then we can uh, check whether any models have been downloaded earlier or not using the firebase translate model manager we can get all the models which are downloaded in the device maybe like you can check before making the translate call you can check like if all the models are being downloaded or not i uh, right now i am not doing anything with this function what else we have then you have a function to just hide the keyboard uh, that's all and on top of that i had done something uh, so in this project we already have implemented the text recognizer uh, that means if we take a picture with the text and we can recognize the text so uh, what i have done is you can take a picture and then pass on that string to this translate uh, to translate it so that's one additional thing i have done so that is what is here so we are just passing uh, string as an extra parameter uh, to the activity and we are just saving uh, setting it to the source text field yeah what else and if you want to delete any uh, model uh, you can you can use uh, firebase you can get the uh, firebase model and then model manager and then call the delete download model and pass in the model then the model gets deleted and you can set conditions uh, whether the model should be allowed to download only uh, using Wi-Fi so those kind of download conditions etc can be set on this so yeah that's all so what we have done let's recap so we have done is uh, first in the app uh, grade build.gradle uh, so we are adding the translate model and the natural language packages then we have created an interface to enter the text Just choose the language from man to then in the activity uh, <coughs> we have a method to prepare the translator after preparing the translator we are trying to download the model and after downloading we are using the calling the translate method of the translator to translate the text and all other other methods are like alerts or uh, validations and uh, another uh, function to uh, get the input provided from the previous screen yeah that's all with this let's uh, see it in action okay i'm taking a picture right now 
this text is in Swedish. Now we need to first recognize the text. Text is recognized. Now I am clicking translate. So the text is now filled and now I am choosing the language Swedish to German. Click translate. So it's now translated and you can see that I am in a flight mode right now. So we don't need internet connection. So Swedish to English. So now I am trying to change the text. So this is th thanks in Swedish. So it's also converted now. You can see Swedish to German, Swedish to French. So this worked pretty well. So now we have seen the uh, power of MLKit like you can do awesome things which is, which was not possible earlier offline. So right now you can do that with the MLKit models uh, like the translation is really easy with this kind of uh, with MLKit. So yeah that's all I have to tell. Do try it out. It's fantastic. Yeah.